Hello there. In the following position, black has three passed pawns, but white can win this endgame with a pawn sacrifice, and the reason this is winning for white is because black's king is not active at all. The only way white can win this endgame is with the brilliant move d6. First let's look at what happens if black takes. The point of bishop c3 is to block off the a1 to h8 diagonal, since white's king is now on the diagonal and can't afford any checks on that diagonal since he would lose tempo. The most crucial thing when you are playing a risky endgame is tempo. We now play the quiet move knight e6. After black promotes, white has a mate in 5 moves. With a pawn no less. Now let's see what happens if you don't block the diagonal and move the knight. If you don't block out the diagonal and just move the knight to deliver mate, black will promote with check, and the mating nut is lost. If the white king takes the d6 pawn, black can play b2, and the white king is too far away to support the knight and give mate. If black instead push the pass pawn, thinking he can promote, we will play bishop c3, once again cutting off the diagonal. Now we reach the same position, except the move order is flipped. Please subscribe and like if you like this video. Thank you for watching.